Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to integrate this ZigBee sensor uh, with the k 868 server uh, by this uh, USB dongle. So that this is a Xiaomi ZigBee sensor. Uh, if you have connected with this USB dongle for ZigBee, and so that uh, you can use many ZigBee devices uh, by this dongle and by the ZigBee to MQTP server running on the Raspberry Pi 4. So let's look at the First step, uh, you, we can add, uh, install the add-on on our home assistant for the ZigBee to MQTT. Uh, this is ZigBee to MQTT that is support almost 2,000 devices, uh, many, many, many devices, a lamp, sensor, and a switch, and many sensors. And uh, we can go to this uh, web page, uh, home assistant, and uh, configuration, and uh, add-on. And this time we can click this add-on store and press this button. And we can remove this because I have added this. Uh, when you first, uh, you need to copy this stream. This is a GitHub URL for the ZigBee to MQTT. And you just copy and uh, paste it here. And press add. and you can click close and you will find a uh, two yellow icon that is for ZigBee to MQTT standards that is for development we can click this button uh, for this version and click install that will be installed online okay now is install complete before we click start you need to go to configuration that will be configured first you just you can see here is step two, as it will be to MQTT add-on configuration for Home Assistant. So you just select all and also copy and paste. Uh, it's very easy. And just delete all and paste. Uh, so the important is you need to set this information of the MQTT. Because it will be to MQTT add-on, that is convert the ZigBee sensor to MQTT message. So you should create your MQTT broker on your Raspberry Pi. That we have installed the Moscow MQTT broker, and this is IP address, and this is a part of Moscow. This IP address is the Raspberry Pi. That is the server IP. So we can see the root. Uh, that is 1.196. This is the IP address. So this is this one, and this is MQTT broke username and the password. That you can just check uh, for your Moscow setting. And uh, you can press save. And uh, before you run it, you make sure you have connect with Zig ZigBee dongle. So we can click information and uh, click start. And we can enable this button so that you can see it here. And you can uh, click the logo and refresh and check uh, your ZigBee device where it is running well. So you just refresh, OK. You can see uh, this is online. So now you have installed the add-on for ZigBee and MQTT. And we can go on. And the next, the third step is we can check uh, this action this Xiaomi ZigBee sensor that is for click, click, click that will send different message for single times and double and travel, travel and uh, four and many times so we we'll have different feedback so we can check this one we can click ZigBee to MQTT and you can see here is nothing we can click this permit join that needs a learning signal from ZigBee sensor we can click and uh, now you can see here is the sensor and here is the hole that is hold on this button and the blue LED will be on you can see the blue LED okay now you can see here is the switch you can see here is the device have scan and we can wait for a moment now you can see it detect as a sensor 
Let's show me the B switch. And uh, now you can see the manufacturer is the Xiaomi. And this is the module. And uh, this is the detail, the product information details. So that have learning the signal from the Xiaomi. And we can also see this, uh, we can clear. And you can see I can click one button. And this is M Mess MQTT message that will have the payload is single and the topic uh, is this one we need to replace in the next step uh, the MQTT topic this is one click and uh, double click you can see the payload is double and uh, three times and you can see uh, this is a different payload four times Sorry, one, two, three, four. That is four times is this payload, and five times one, two, three, four, five. And you can see there are many. So you can see I have uh, I have listed here. When I click one time and two times, three times and four times and many times, and larger than uh, five times, that will be feedback the many. So this is the uh, feedback. This is the payload. Payload is different. And this is the topic uh, for ZP to MQTT uh, by the sensor. I just uh, save this because in future I will use this address. And now we can add this Xiaomi sensor switch and uh, to Home Assistant. You can see here is the uh, create uh, the configuration. That is for the power. This is for the voltage is power. And this is for a signal. And this is for click. Uh, click how many times? That is feedback. So we can copy this. Copy this code. And not copy this sensor because we have, we have the sensor. Uh, we can copy here. And uh, paste. Fill edit. And the configuration.yaml file. Just this file and uh, find at last because it have the sensor. So we just append append this is the sensor. Uh, the plant for is MQTT. And make sure uh, you address the topic address is as thin as this one. Uh, you can see here is the one and here is this one. This one is feedback from your MQTT message. Uh, make sure let its uh, topic is work with your ID. So this one is voltage and the signal. And the click, uh, you have three sensor. We can save and restart Home Assistant. And wait for a moment. OK, Home Assistant has started. We can click here and edit the dashboard. And add a card. We can add this glance because we need to see the power and the signal. And we can choose voltage. That is sensor voltage. And signal. That is signal and uh, click, sensor click. So this is for Xiaomi, Xiaomi sensor and uh, press C. And you can see here, press down. And you can see I can click, uh, this is changed, this is changed. It's very quickly. And this is a signal. I don't know why we, uh, this is no voltage. Uh, maybe have some, some delay. So we can get the click. Then I can let this click one time and triangle the relay three, uh, output three. So you, uh, actually you can define any sense mode uh, for this click. 
So we can see the next step is we can create a new automation. That is when I click this button and we'll let this relay on and off, on and off. So we can see here we can go to the automation. And we can create automation. Start a new automation. One click. Uh, one click. And the device, the triangle type. You can see the triangle type. We can according to the state. State and the entity. You can see uh, we can choose the sensor. Sensor click, that is show me sensor click. And the two, two single, that means click one time. That is single, uh, this one, S-I-N-G-L-E. And the condition, action, that call service and the switch talking. action that because we have created the output is a switch type call service and the service is switch tagging switch tagging and now we can choose which entity choose entity that is output uh, three because this output is three this is output one two three and uh, this one is three so we can click and we can press save and back and you will see uh, there is one automation that is disabled, that is enabled so if I enable this automation, you can see uh, this switch, I can click the relay is on and I can click again, uh, the relay is off so this CKP sensor, we can click one time and on and click off. Uh, so you can also uh, define this switch uh, for double click and uh, third times and four times and for different things mode. That will be very easy uh, set in Home Assistant. So this is how to integrate the Zigbee device uh, to KS868 server running by the Home Assistant. Uh, thanks for watching.